Impact. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dan Kleckner here for your weekly golf video, and today we're going to keep it simple. I'm just going to show you guys top three hip stretches to do. So, uh, last week we went over T-spine stretches. Today we're going to go over hip stretches. Hips are obviously very important in the golf swing. Um, most golfers are super tight in their adductors and hamstrings, so I'm going to show you guys a couple stretches for that today. Um, what happens when we're tight in our adductors and hamstrings is we get in our swing and we get a lot of lateral shift in our swing, which can make an inconsistent swing and also make us leak power when we're trying to store and release energy. It's trying to stay stable. Instead, we're all over the place. Knees are shifting. We get that sway back in our swing and leads to a lot of inconsistencies and power leaks. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple hip stretches today um, to help get those um, adductors and hamstrings flexible again and create a more consistent, powerful swing. So first one we got, it is just our quad hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna go kneeling right here. We're gonna get knee into the pad. What you're gonna notice here is my ankle in the back is just folded into the wall. I'm up nice and tall. What I don't wanna do is lean forward a lot. I wanna tuck my tailbone under, so I wanna drive my hips forward, squeeze the butt in the back as much as I can, sit up nice and tall, and then sit back just a tiny bit, try to get heel to the butt, maintaining that tall upright posture, squeezing the butt on the down leg right here. We're gonna do that for 30 to 45 seconds on the right side. And then we would just switch, go 30 to 45 seconds on the left side, and do two to three sets on each side. Next one is gonna be a straight hip stretch. So this one's kind of a funky looking stretch, but very good to open up the hips. So what we're doing is getting knees out and toes out here. I'm getting my forearms into the ground, and then all I'm trying to do is just sit my hips back as far as I can. We're gonna hold this again for 30 to 45 seconds for a couple sets. With both these stretches, guys, and the last stretch I'm gonna show you, these are what we call static stretches where we're holding the stretch for a longer period of time trying to um, lengthen um, the muscle and get more um, tissue length and increase flexibility. So with that, these are stuff you would want to do either post-workout or something you can add in on your off days when you're not working out. Not something we necessarily want to do as a warm-up. So I'll get the last one here for you guys. Alright guys, last one here we got is a great active and passive hamstring stretch. So I got an active stretch on this left leg where I'm driving my heel into the rack as much as I can. I got my butt all the way up against the rack. You can do this in a doorway or wherever you got room as well. And I relax, make sure I'm driving this heel as much as I can into the rack the whole time. And then I'm bringing that opposite leg up as far as I get it, keeping this leg driven into the rack, coming back down, tapping the heel to the ground, and then coming back up. So we get an active and a passive stretch here. On the hamstrings, we do a 10 on the left, 10 on the right. Again, two to three sets. All right guys, so there's three stretches right there to start to free up the hips and the adductors and the hamstrings. It's gonna to lead to a more consistent swing, get rid of that swaying and, and knee movement in the swing and start to create a more powerful, compact swing. If you guys have any questions, hit me up at dan at goimpactstrength.com. Thanks guys.